In this video, we're going to talk about Databox's agency features. As an agency, you're probably way too familiar with the time drain of monthly reporting. Spending two to five days compiling reports for all of your clients is not an effective use of your time or your team's time. With Databox, you get access to a range of agency features that will help you streamline your processes and save time. By centralizing all of your client data in one place and making use of our automation features, you'll be able to give your team back the time that they need to move the needle on important tasks. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and add our first client to the account. There are two ways that we can do this. We can do this either by selecting the switch client icon and just pressing new client, or we can just click on the client's icon, which will redirect us to the client's account screen. And then to add a new client, we can just click the button new client. So from this pop-up, I can actually add all of my clients in one go. So if I'm an account manager that has four accounts in the agency, I can add all of those four accounts in one go. Here, I'd be able to specify the client name, their website, which is an optional field, and the account manager, which in my case is me, but we could also pick other people in the account to be the account manager. So for this example, let's add my client and my client is client G. So under client name, I'll just set this to client G. And then I'll leave the website field blank for now and leave myself as the account manager. And once I'm done adding all of my clients, I can just go ahead and press create. Okay, from the client account screen, we'll then be able to see a list of all the clients that have been added to the account. So after adding my client, we can see that it's showing up here as client G. From this screen, we can then see important information about each client account that will help us manage on our end. These include things like who the account manager is, the number of data sources connected for the client account, the number of metrics created, as well as any tags that have been created for this client. You can then also make use of the filters here at the top to filter the client accounts. You can filter client accounts by managers or by tags. For example, you can use tags to distinguish between clients who have specific services. So for clients who have only purchased your SEO service or only pur purchased your paid campaign services to help make it easier for you to filter through and find those appropriate clients in your list. These client accounts in Databox actually offer a secure and scalable reporting process for your agency, while still allowing for customization based on specific client needs or preferences. So each client account is going to offer the same capabilities as your normal agency account, which means that once you've created the client account, the process of connecting data sources, building dashboards, setting goals, and more are all the same that you would do when you're creating your agency account. Okay, so let's assume that I've added a few clients and then connected all their data sources to their specific accounts. I've created goals and built all the dashboards, but now I just want a place where I can easily review the performance of their most important metrics and goals. Rather than switching between and jumping around different client accounts, I can actually use the metric performance overview screen to see everything that I need in one place. So from here, I can add all the metrics and KPIs that we are tracking for each client and then even filter this here at the top by account manager and tag. For the purpose of this video, you can see that I've gone ahead and already added a few metrics for my clients. Uh, so for client A and client B, we're looking at sessions and total ad spend. And then I do have two ways that I can add metrics here. I can choose to set metrics for all. So for example, if all our client accounts have Google Analytics connected and we wanted to see a metric like sessions, by selecting set metrics for all, it will automatically set sessions from Google Analytics as a metric on our metric performance overview screen. So by clicking the drop down arrow here and selecting a metric like sessions, it would basically populate with data from all of our client accounts. Another option that I have is that if I have metrics that are specific or unique to one client, I can just select an empty box and set a metric for this specific client. So this will still give me visibility into the performance of important metrics that we're tracking, but it's not necessarily the same between each client. So again, to set a metric, 
I would just select the drop down menu and then use the filters here or the search function to search for the specific metric that I want to see for this client. Similarly, you can then navigate to the goals overview screen to see how every goal in your client account is performing. So if we click into goals overview, we'll be able to see all the goals that have been added to a client account displayed under this screen. So if your goals are off track, you can then quickly jump into your client account to try and investigate the reasons why that might be. Again, here at the top, you can choose to filter goals by account managers. So if, if for example, I wanted to look at all the goals for my client, I could just um, set the filter to me, or again, I could filter it by tag. And then I can also update the date range for this whole entire screen to see the goals that I have associated with the different timeframes.